Yo, what is up, boys? I'm back. And today, I'm gonna break down how I made this sample. Okay, let's go. So, um, first, I recorded this guitar. So I just recorded acoustic guitar through my microphone. Okay, so for the effects, first of all, I put on a compressor because these hits were like way too fucking loud. Look, it, it ducks down so much in volume. Then I put on a limiter. It's only for a noise gate. Then RC20. With a final preset. Also some vintage chords. This is a new plugin from FL Studio, bro. It's so... It's so good, bro. Then I recorded simple top melody, like some notes actually. It isn't even that, that's crazy. I put reverb on it. And EQ, like a high shelf, like ducking down the high frequencies because I want it to be like really vintage, you know? Okay, so another recording of top notes without effects. I just put chorus on it. Again, vintage chorus. I pan them to the left and right. Together with the main guitar, it sounds like this. For the second eight bars, I added a bass. It's a bass guitar from Ample Bass. Um, I use this one a lot. I made a mono and I added OTT to give it extra bit of warmth. Uh, then I added a vocal. It's a vocal from Splice. Um, it's like a kind of ambient, repetitive vocal melody. This is it without effects. See, it's way too harsh, so um, first of all, I did an LFO. Give it like this rhythmic feel. This EQ like almost cuts out all like the distorted frequencies. And the second vocal, this gives the main, like, this gives... Uh, fuck. And then the second vocal, this one gives like life to the sample, like this is what it's all based around. Without effects, it sounds like this. Back to where we started, show me where you've been. Tend to you, my garden, plant you. It's a vocal from Splice, it's like really stereo, kind of as well. First of all, I added a little Alter Boy and turned down the format, so it gives it more like a lower pitch, but like same pitched voice. Back to where we started, show me where you've been. I added an EQ to cut out all the lows and like a little bit of the highs so it's like i don't know how to explain it but this and i did follow room to make it more spacious for the second eight bars uh, i duplicated the vocal put it on a different mix mixer track i eq'd out only the lows then i had a little alter boy and pitch it up 12 but again with the foreman turned down, so it's... I actually don't know what foreman does, but it just gives it a nice sound, I guess. Then I added portal, like a crazy effect. Yo, shut the fuck up. This portal effect gives it like a crazy bounce on reverb. Together with the other vocal sounds like this. It just gives it so much more bounce. Everything together sounds like this. Second part. And the final sauce I added, this is like the actual fucking sauce. Abbey Road's chambers on a master. As you can see, this shit fucks my CPU so much, so I hope it's gonna, like, play. It, 
like glues the whole sample together like it's actually played in this room it's like a little bit of reverb i guess yeah it's kind of like a reverb and then you say like uh era why you put reverb on on the bass you shouldn't put reverb on the bass shut the fuck up and that's actually basically the whole sample i guess there's nothing much more to explain the samples super fire and just gotta keep it simple record guitar vocals bass boom done and yeah that's how you make these guitar ish r&b ish type fucking samples i don't even know what artist should hop on this but ah uh, fuck i'm bad at doing outros all right i'm gonna head out Stay.